king of Bastoronia. Small sovereign nation, population one. As a result, we haven't heard anything from Chucky since 1974, but while rummaging through some used record bins at an estate sale last month, I stumbled across a rare gem. It's an acoustic demo of Bister's early single, Chicken Chicken Clocks a Ticket. And we're going to take it for a spin later on this afternoon right here on 101.4 Classic Bob. You ever heard of Dr. Paul Severn? The guy behind these public health initiatives, clean needles, condoms, and all that bullshit? The guy who's all over the TV, endorsing your pal Reverend Goodman for mayor? I got Goodman that endorsement, actually. A few weeks back, Severn and I met up at an auction and found ourselves in a bidding war over a state-of-the-art seaplane. And being the gentleman I am, I let him win. So he got drunk off the thrill of the win, and you got to ask for his endorsement at just the right time. On the money. Problem is, I really wanted that plane. So you're gonna get it for me. You want me to steal a plane? That's not exactly something I can just slip into my coat pocket. Slip it up your ass for all I care! Just go to the marina and do the job! Now! What respectable man in Nevada doesn't need a seaplane? Damn it. Sorry, guys. Nothing stands between a man and his plane. Now for the fun part. is right for you. Warning, side effects may include dry mouth, dizziness, constipation, tingling, running with scissors, seeing dead people, walking around like normal people. Some patients may experience an involuntary Okay. Just like riding a bike. Right for 10 seconds. Yeah. A really big bike. Contact your doctor. Wait. Wait. Sandwell here will be falling out. Advertise not intended for using guns that keep protein and more carbohydrates. Amplify has changed my life forever. Thanks, Doc. You're listening to KWOT 104.2 and I'm Ronnie Q. Always giving it to you straight, always giving it to you cool. 
You've all heard how I feel about buying stuff and consumerism, whatever. So do you know how much it means with a sneakers? You really need to buy these kicked on boots. Not only are they totally fucking comfortable, they're like hella great for the environment. Made out of authentic, one of a kind, used pointless clothing and bags, it is the ultimate in recycled apparel. Not to mention they are only $399.99. I'm wearing a huge green one as we speak. So pick up a pair of kicked on boots right now. Seriously, if you're still listening to me, I hate you. This is Ronnie Q of K104.2 reporting live at the latest protest happening in downtown Vegas. Sponsored by the Liberal White Guild Foundation, otherwise known as LWG. The mood is not being gross and everyone here is kind of lame, but at least they believe in something, unlike all those other assholes out there who just want to buy BMWs and pop out to wheelers. Let's talk to one of the protesters now. What's your name? Hey, Ronnie, I'm Sandy. I'm like your hugest fan ever. Yeah, my dollar tree is for the week. Why are you protesting? Well, I was born into a white, middle-class family, you know? Call it love, call it karma, it is what it is. Why should I feel bad that kids in Africa are starving or whatever? Is that my fault? I'm so sick of being made to feel ashamed of who I am and all the advantages I have. Oh, cool story, dude. What about you, kid? My name's Barry Ellison. Hey, Mom! Oh, God. Oh. Back to the studio. What did I tell you? She's a beauty, right? Don't you think your friend is gonna be pissed? He's had his chance to enjoy it. You know, I thought you'd put up a little more resistance when I tapped you. Part of me thinks you actually like a little blood on your hands. You don't know anything about me, Frank. Don't waste your time with the innocent Boston altar boy act. I didn't pick you up out of nowhere without looking into you first. You know there's no such thing as a clean slate. See you around, Jason. Yeah? Hey, fly guy. Hey, Ronnie. Nice job with the plane. How do you know about that? I told you, I know people. Listen, you ever want to show off your piloting skills, go see my friend the Aviatrix. True story? I have no idea what her real name is. Like, I actually address her like that. Anyway, go see her sometime. I might do that. Later, Tater. Oh, my God. 